Okay guys, welcome to UC Davis StarCraft. I'm Alpha Ferg and I'm going to be giving you the finals of the first bi-weekly UC Davis tournament. And uh, it's going to be Stupid versus Boba the Bear. These guys climbed through the ladder to get here. And uh, really quickly, I did cast some of the semifinals. They're on the UC Davis Twitch TV channel. Uh, my internet chat the bed, so I didn't be I wasn't able to cast all of them. I'm not going to try to pick it off and split up everything. So go watch some of those if you watch. It was Boba the Bear versus Spies. Uh, but these are going to be the finals. They're going to be on YouTube. It's the only place I'm putting them. So let's get into the game, man. Okay. All right, so here we go. And it is going to be Stupid versus Boba the Bear. It's going to be on Belshear Beach. Stupid as the Green Terran here. This guy used to play random. And it's going to be against Boba the Bear, the Orange Protoss. I'm really excited. This is one of the non-ladder maps. It's using GSL. It's using some other tournaments. getting some water uh, and it's gonna be very very good because I love these players these guys play very very well and stupid actually let me recap uh, some of the players that these people beat stupid actually went through the bracket let me look really closely he beat Joey he beat slot he beat Byron or he beat flip he beat Imbu poor Imbu man three to him and also we have Boba the bear who managed to take out Spies. Bobo took out Ed's Dover Insanity, and no, he took out Ed's Dover. He took out DNX Guru Legit Wes 3-0. Bobo the Bear, very good player, and that's gonna lead to that. All led to this: the Grand Finals, best of five, starting off on Belcher Beach. And Stupid is gonna do a wall in here. You can actually get the barracks, but he didn't complete it in time. So now he's forced to run away. He's gonna try to build the barracks out here. But he has to stall and get this probe down so he can secure his uh, his uh, base. And he's not going to be able to wall in here. He's forced to let this probe in. Who's just going to like visually absorb everything in the base. He's just learning everything he can about the other player. What a mean guy. Even poking away at this SCV. Always annoying to have this kind of stuff happen. Meanwhile, Boba the Bear, who did forge fast expand a ton against Spies. It looks like he's going to go Nexus first. I wouldn't be surprised to see a gateway soon after. You see he's even stopped probes. He's going to save up for 150 and put down a gateway almost immediately. And... I don't know where it is. What's he, what's he doing? This is kind of weird. Oh, no. He's going to build a forge. So this is going to be a forge fast expand. Kind of reverse. A very late forge. But against Terran, you can do that. You can see this uh, Marine is only going to be able to come up now. There definitely will be some sort of defense. I wouldn't be surprised to see a pylon built very shortly. Uh, perhaps with this last 100 minerals, you can see it's going to go down right about now. Bingo! And the gateway's coming out as well. So this is a very solid base. A uh, very solid build, as you can definitely get a cyber core with this kind of stuff. In the meantime, stupid! Is going to try to complete this wall in. What's he doing at home? He's actually getting an early command center. Totally did not get scouted uh, by this probe. He's heading back home. He's hiding right now behind this uh, thing. <laughs> and this game's going to kind of move on with this photon cannon already being completed. This marine uh, and any subsequent follow-up that could have come, it definitely won't. Though the SCV does get into the main of Boba the Bear and we'll be able to see everything Bobo should be able to uh, force him out though. If he doesn't leave before the photon canishes, he's gonna have a bad time. But it looks like instead he's just gonna hang out. Stupid. Uh, definitely not playing too stupid. He's gonna scout out everything. He sees the second down, and he knows that it'll be very safe to have this fo this uh, command center be completed. He's even getting up this earlier gas. Two racks are coming out though. Not too surprising with uh, second base economy on its way. But it should be a pretty slow, slow game right now. There's no sign of uh, aggression from either player. And, oh man, I gotta say, this casting is much, much better. Look at, there's no lag. Uh, there's no dropped frames. I really should just stop live casting, man. Just stop it. You can also see I got a haircut. My hair was very, very long up until just about three hours ago. I got a very nice haircut from my girlfriend's friend, Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. She's gonna be at our wedding. Stupid, uh, putting up a bunker. He's going to get his second base here. This is going to be turned into an orbital command very shortly, man. And uh, there will be some nice defense here. 
stupid preparing in case this is a very fast four gate kind of push. It looks like nothing's on the way. You can see that CyberCore is uh, warp gate technology is about halfway done. Uh, we should see more gateways if Stupid does plan on doing early gateway pushes. You can see this probe is just going to run away, scouting, definitely making sure that there is some sort of expand here. Uh, we see with this early pylon that there is definitely a chance for early pushes. And with the ground armor first before, whoops, first before ground weapons, his zealots will actually be able to tank a lot of that marine damage. So this could be a very early push. We can see the gateways being thrown down as well. This could be a three gate. Wouldn't be surprised to see a four gate or five gate is what it's going to be. Maybe even more six gates going down. This is going to be a very heavy gateway timing push with this ground armor. Seven gates. And Cybercore warp gate technology is almost done as well. We'll be able to warp in here. Wouldn't be surprised to see a pylon put down somewhere over here. So we can immediately warp in. And Stupid's actually moving out of his base. This could be very bad. Uh, because this is the timing that Boba the Bear wants to hit so we can do damage. He's going to kite these units into oblivion. No slow on those concussive missiles missiles just yet. Even putting up this pylon, which, Boba, which Stupid does scout. Will he go back and kill it off? Definitely something you should do. And meanwhile, Boba the Bear does have warp gate technology finish. He's even getting more... Uh, nope, this is the same. This is the same seven gates right here. And he's going to be able to do a ton of damage right now. Losing this pylon, the second one over here, is totally safe. And the probe is safe as well. We'll be able to rebuild that pylon very, pylon very quickly. And Stupid is preparing for the long haul. He's going to try to hold the second base. He does not quite have the income he wants. He's eight harvesters behind. He's trying to catch up. But Boba the Bear, because of the chrono boost, he got out a ton of probes early. And now he's going to be able to do a ton of damage. You can see the pylons are being thrown down to create that supply bubble where he can just build a ton of units. We should be seeing lots of gateway units completed. The plus one armor is completed. Maybe he'll do a plus one weapons timing attack, but it can't be too bad because this is a lot of units. You can see he's ahead, almost 15 in supply. This push is going to be killer. This probe is building a pylon uh, in the same damn position. And stupid is, oh no, he's trying to expand at the same point. He's even scouted with a factory. Definitely a symbol of mass kind of starport. And with this factory, oh my gosh, just scouting this scary amount of stalkers over here. And with the warpins over here, these zealots are going to move up into the main. This is going to be it, folks. Here are the sentries. They're going to try to lay down force fields behind the bunkers to prevent any sort of uh, supply depot or some uh, repairing. But oh my gosh, the SCVs are just a little bit too late. And now they're going down a number. They're trying to come out, taking out the sentries. But the zealots are getting in. They're going to do a, a ton of damage. The... Uh, Huge stalkers are doing a ton of damage here, and in come more zealots. They're going to be able to take a ton. You can just see how long they live against this kind of push, taking out <laughs> marauders, taking out SCVs. He's repairing the supply depot, and uh, it looks like it's going to hold with all the bunkers going down. More zealots coming out. This is actually getting pretty crazy, and this push is still in Boba the Bear's favor. He does have a lot of stuff. You can see... That stupid is trying to build a lot of units. He does have a uh, Banshee. I want to go check and make sure that that's only not doing a ton of damage. But Boba the Bear is doing so much damage. This Banshee has not gotten into the main yet. It's, he has zero kills. Stupid is trying to macro his life for his life. Even pulling mules. Not too great. Uh, the Banshee is now doing some damage, getting some kills. And with the warp down here, it's actually going to be not too good. But this could be a base trade. But you know when you base trade a ton of Protoss units versus one Banshee? Even though it has a ton of kills, uh, this is going to be a pretty safe base. You can just get a warp in round of stalkers back at home to defend. There is no cloak. Oh, there is cloak. Never mind. So if stupid manages to cloak, he needs to immediately. It's going to oh, just barely gets out of there with his stuff. But oh my gosh, look at all of the SCVs dying here. Cloak is managing to save, but it will it be too late? Uh, let's take a look at the economy. It's 30 harvesters to... A 30 harvester lead for Boba the Bear, and even still, more units taking out so much stuff here. The Stalkers, the Command Center forced to lift off and run away. This Banshee is doing still some damage, though. You can see that the Robo Facility is going to be so darn slow. That's one of the changes that happened, is getting that 10-second uh, faster Observer. But when you don't have a Robo Facility, it doesn't really matter how fast you can build a Observer. Observer, because you can't even press the button. 
And this is actually getting pretty crazy. Let me check something really quick. And with Cloak running out, sorry about that, nothing, ha nothing exciting happened, don't worry about it, this Banshee just has 20 kills, no, no worries man, no worries. Um, here we go, and the Stalkers, look at there, just totally safe to move in right here. As soon as this Banshee is killed, Boba the Bear will resume working, he still has a ton of stuff alive, and he's just going to keep pushing up here into the main, taking out every single SCV counts. And, oh my gosh, look at this deadly, deadly force. He can even see... No, he can't see that there's a base right here mining away. But that's okay. Boba the Bear definitely has a lead right now. Almost 30, 40 supply ahead. And poor, poor Boba the Bear, stupid. He's trying to get this medevac up, but with just so much damage, the Zealots are doing great tanking. You can see this plus one armor has helped so much, and stupid is just going to GG. I'm going to take a quick... Uh, break. I'm not going to end the video. I'm just going to upload this as one video. So just fast forward a little bit until game two starts. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. <laughs> that was just checking up on my... Why is this French? What is going on in the UC Davis channel? Alright. To cast. Tourney. So I don't actually know which game was played after this. I'm gonna go with this one on Antigua Shipyard. They didn't label it. Whew. Okay, so we're going into game two. For Boba the Bear vs. Stupid. Why do I press that button? And you can see they changed their colors a little bit. Uh, Boba the Bear is still going to be the orange Protoss, but Stupid, he is playing, he's totally playing random. Oh, this is really exciting. Stupid, the random player, is here as the purple Protoss. What a killer guy. I'm getting messaged. And this is actually getting pretty cool because I love seeing PvP. I know that in Code S... Uh, the semifinals, we definitely saw a PvP, and that was crazy, man. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to spoil it a little bit right now, but if close your ears really quick. Um, Squirtle's really good at PvP, man. He totally metagamed poor Hero, and just smashed Hero into the ground in a quick 3-0. So that's what happened in GSL Semis. Watched it this morning as it was working out, and uh, we'll see if that kind of game is emulated here. Holy... Crap, what's going on on my Skype? Okay, so both players are playing very evenly. Uh, in fact, just seconds apart from each other. And Super's actually a little bit behind because he left to uh, build this pylon a little bit, man. It's, it's interesting how distances and little things will change build orders. Uh, what is Stupid doing? Such a late gateway in comparison. Uh, it shouldn't matter too much if he plays defensively. Hmm, very interesting. Anyways. Oh, why did I press that? I hate... Alright, so, Assimilator going down for Boba the Bear. He's getting out his gateway. Assimilator timings, very even. But Boba the Bear will be able to get a slightly earlier warp gate technology. A uh, slightly earlier four gate if that is what they are choosing to do. That's okay. And Stupid is just going to follow suit. Both players getting that immediate uh, three workers on gas. And... Yeah, not too not too crazy, man. Uh, he's throwing in an attack move there, which is going to totally throw off the scouting. Oh, he's actually... He clicked the pylon. So this uh, probe is going to go attack the pylon. Like a pro. Like a probe. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, what's wrong with me? So both players throwing down the Cybercore, like I said, Boba the Bear will have a uh, about a 
12 second lead there with the Cyber Core. And throwing down the second Assimilator as well, which is totally cool. Uh, and this, this probe is actually hiding over here. Picking away at the Assimilator, just doing a little bit of damage. And going back to work on this like a probe. Uh, but it, oh no! Losing to the Zealot. Zealot's like a boss, he's got a kill, he's only, you know, four minutes old and he's already feeling like such a pro. Meanwhile, this probe is just running away from the Zealot here in the main of Stupid. And Stupid's actually chrono boosting out a lot. We'll see how this develops. As Warp Gate's Warp Gate gets closer to completion, uh, we'll see more uh, gateways getting thrown down, and we'll see if either player chooses to diverge. With Stupid's uh, big gas count right now, he had a slightly earlier similar assimilator, I feel. He can do some different kind of stuff. And the first divergence here is Boba the Bear thrown down to Stargate, actually, and with the Stalker, it's going to be totally safe from scouting. And it looks like Stupid's just going to get a lot of gateways, man. I don't know, he's racking up a ton of gas. This could be some sort of sentry build? He could be sentry expanding? I don't know. Actually throwing down the Twilight Council, he still has a ton of gas. So I'm kind of curious. Typically you want to go Blink Stalker, and Blink Stalker against Stargate could actually be very good. So we'll see how he chooses to use it. He's getting a three-gate st three gate Stargate here for Boba the Bear. In the meantime, back in Stupid's main, just throwing down three-gate with Blink. Probably four gate uh, soon ish. Probe here just hanging out. Stalker hanging out as well. These guys are just chilling. Chilling like Protoss villain. And this four gate is. Uh, three gate is starting to complete for Boba the Bear. The star gate already has one Phoenix completed. You can see. Oh! It's getting scouted very early by Stupid. And Stupid now is building. The three gates that you want. He's chrono boosting out Blink, which is going to do so much stuff. And unfortunately, with one Phoenix, he can't really do anything but scout. You can't lift off anything to shoot at because you can't shoot when you're lifting off, man. And Boba the Bear is pushing right now. He's already getting this move out here. He's putting down uh, the probe here. It looks like this is where the forward pylon is going to be. And with the Phoenix, he'll be able to totally scout the high ground. But Stupid's army is closing here. And almost uh, getting some damage there on the Phoenix. This Phoenix is going to have to run away. Looks like Boba the Bear is going to run away and live to fight another day. Meanwhile, Boba the Bear is actually throwing on some more tech and getting Robo. Uh, stupid might even just do a Stalker all-in right now. Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. He's throwing down a Dark Templar Shrine. <laughs> and this could be very bad, but you know what? Boba the Bear, oh, he's not getting Observer first, man, and it takes 40 seconds to build instead of the 30 that the patch this morning changed because this was played last week. We'll see what happens. This could be very, very bad for Boba the Bear. He's going to have to hold against uh, Dark Templar, but it looks like the push is coming before Dark Templar are even ready. Blink is completed, though, and a very good force field to just prevent any sort of push. And you know what? There's no... There's no uh, forward pylon. So stupid, just not preparing really well against to to hold this push. And with the Phoenix, he should be able to hold very well. And once the Dark Templar do come out, he canceled it. What? Oh, man, this is just throwing me off. Uh, you really don't want to cancel tech that you put down a minute or so later. And these Immortals are actually going to smash the Blink Stalker. The longer he waits, once the second Immortal comes out, Blink Stalker is much less likely to do a lot of damage. This could go very poorly for Stupid. Very well for Boba the Bear. Uh, but if he hits still without an Observer, he could do a lot of damage. If he takes out the Robo Facility, ASAP DTs just do so well when there's no scouting on the field. As I'm sure a lot of you guys who've lost to it know... And, oh no, he's chrono boosting out the Observer right now. He maybe even scouted it. Actually, that's probably exactly what happened. Uh, he was scouting in the main with the Phoenix and saw the DT Shrine. I don't know, man. Stupid. He didn't do any damage with that push. And here comes a pretty large push for Bro the Bear with the Phoenix still in play. This could do a lot. The Immortals are coming out in mass. You can see the Observer perfectly here positioned to scout any DT trying to move in. 
Uh, we may even see a second DT, a second observer, to help protect the army from DTs. Uh, trade there of two stalkers. See their limbs dying on the ground. Oh my gosh, a huge pickup, and he's going to be able to take out all of these with his units. Even if they fall, it doesn't matter. The Immortals will almost immediately pick off uh, the fallen stalkers. And here come the DTs to try to hold. It looks like Boba the Bear doesn't quite know they're there, and finally he's seeing... Uh, no, he's going to try to hold this, and they're, these DTs are doing so much damage, man. Uh, but finally the Observer comes in and cleans up the DTs. The Phoenix are still doing just fine, picking up one of the Stalkers and killing it very easily. Boba the Bear is 25 supply ahead, and he has an Observer here, which will not be able to be killed by Stupid. Oh, taking off a very quick... Taking off the Phoenix right there, and oh my gosh, Stupid... He left his tech out here undefended, so he'll lose a Star Shrine almost immediately. Trying to warp in a DT, but you know what? The Observer's totally fine! And will take out the Dark Templar there. The Dark Shrine is down. He's going to take off some pro pylons, which will mean that Stupid will just have to rebuild him. He won't be able to catch up in supply. This push is just going to keep coming and coming. You can see here are some pylons here on the low ground. If uh, Stupid... Oh no! Stupid's moving back to take him out! And there will be a warp in, but... Boba the Bear can just move up the main ramp right now. And, uh... These Zealots are going to do a ton of damage. The Phoenix are trying to move in and do some more picking up, but once they meet up with the army, this push will be pretty much decided as Boba the Bear can now warp into the main, pull in his probes, try to get some survival on, but it's just not going to be enough. The Immortals are doing so much damage. Six kills there. Six kill on the other one. They have 12 kills altogether, and there is the GG. I will be back in a minute or two to give you game three. Feel free to fast forward. It's all on YouTube. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's do game three. UCD reps to cast. It's the tourney. It's the final game of... Or could be final game. Between Boba the Bear and Stupid. Bobo is up 2-0. And in a best of five, he just needs one more win to go. What will Stupid be able to do? It looks like Stupid spawning as... The Zerg, he's getting all three races into this best of five. And it's going to be a ZVP on Shakur's Plateau. Interesting map. It should be interesting to see how these players cope with it because it typically uh, favors neither. There's not a really easy third base to take for either player. And Protoss can kind of rely on a two base push, but that's really all the options available to them in the mid game because trying to hold a third can be difficult in certain cases. You kind of have to rely on Colossus to hold this middle ground, but then if Mutas are out on the field, man, you are not in luck. So we'll see how this goes. Bow the Bear is going to be Forge fast expanding, probably again. He does favor that earlier uh, Forge. We only saw some sort of deviance when he did the PvP, because of course you don't Forge fast expand in PvP. There, you can take that advice to the bank and do not Forge fast expand in PvP, man. And meanwhile, Stupid is just going to drone up pretty darn hard. Already up to 14 drones. Looks like he's stockpiling his money. Will he throw down a spawning pool first, or will it be a hatch? Maybe even the gas first, man. Gas before pool, that's pretty good. But there we go. Spawning pool thrown down almost immediately once he hits that 200 minerals. 
And now it's going to be pretty interesting because he can all in and try to really punish this Forge Fast Expand. It wasn't a six pool. Uh, if you watch, Spice does six pool against Bow the Bear and totally wins um, after some very, very crazy uh, decision making from both players. But Stupid is actually getting the spawning pool done and he's not throwing down an assimilator. So I'm inclined to believe that this is just an earlier build to try to get that early queen. But it's going to be totally pylon blocked. And if Boba the Bear can cannon rush, he did this to Spice and he totally won. Um, yeah, this is going to be a cannon rush, man. And previously we saw the cannon rush on Antigua Shipyard, if you go check it out. Um, there's an early, easy third base, but look, oh my gosh. So smart on this map to do this, because the Zerg is pretty much forced to fast expand to their third base. And... Oh my gosh, these cannons. Two of them are getting up. Oh my gosh. Taking out uh, nothing right now, but it's so close. One barely lives there, even canceling the photon cannon. So, uh, Boba the Bear is just going to have a super good two-base economy. And Stupid's going to have a two-base economy, but it's going to be very easy to attack because of how wide open this base is. I mean, you can even throw down a pylon here and just attack almost immediately. And the Zerglings are going to have to run all the way around before they can do anything. This is a horrible base to pass expand to. Almost would prefer this base instead. And uh, it's going to be immediately scouted. You can see this probe. Once Bobo saw that there was not anything down here. Oh my gosh, never mind. He does not scout this position. In fact, uh, he's going to run back because he sees all of these Zerglings. Uh, it's not going to actually be any sort of danger though. Uh, this photon cannon, what a hero. Picking off everything. And. Yeah, he does he sees the base. Okay. Actually, yeah, so you don't have to scout that position. You just sit at the Zelnog Watchtower and be totally safe. So, this probe is going to be a hero and see everything. Oh my gosh. Still hasn't managed to take out the space. Typically, what you want to do is take this out as soon as possible with your lings, but it looks like Stupid may be trying to do a two base push. You can see he's getting out a lot of that tech. He's getting out roaches. He's not really building these to defend anything that Boba the Bear is building because Boba really isn't in a position to forget yet. You can see the cyber core isn't even done. Uh, he's gonna put on some pressure, man. <laughs> oh, what a hero probe! Trying to get an attack. He does get a one hit against the Zergling, but unfortunately loses his life for that transgression. And Stupid now is going to have to do some decision making because you can see he's way behind in the harvesters. He's just going to build some drones, some roaches, and probably some lings once the speed finishes. And just try to kill him, but this wall is only going to get thicker as Boba the Bear can probably get out maybe sentries. It looks like he is going for Stargate technology, which is an interesting decision when you think you're ahead like this. But what he will be able to do is pick off all of these scouting over overlords, man. See, this overlord thinks he's so safe, man. Or the Stargate's going to kill you, bro. But you know what? That's okay, because this timing, what he wants, is to take out with roaches. And if Stupid isn't smart, he won't be building units. He's trying to get some uh, stuff done. He's trying to get the sentry out. He does have it out, but he doesn't have much of an army aside from it. If the Stargate does complete, one Void Ray will shut this all down. But will it be enough? <clears throat> you can see with the sentry, he's taken out the overlord, but he needs the sentry forward, man. This push could be coming at any second, and if your sentry isn't at your front, you can't throw down a force field because it's nowhere in range. The void rate is coming out, and it is moving to attack, but will it be fast enough? Uh, warp gate technology only about halfway done. Uh, there's only one gateway anyway, so it's not going to be that useful unless he throws in a lot of gateways. He should be able to, though. Um, but these roaches are just sitting here. I don't know why Stupid isn't attacking. Looks like he's trying to re-drone up. But, ew, you gotta push this advantage, man. He did secure his third base. It just seems he doesn't not quite know what to do with his units. He doesn't quite want to commit to an all-in. And the more void rays come out, man, the more, uh, less effective this attack is gonna be. Roaches can survive a pretty long against void rays, but not against, like, eight void rays. I mean, come on. Uh, four Void Rays. These Void Rays are going to start poking away at the Overlords. And there's not even a Spy uh, Lair in sight. Uh, there is the... Okay, well, there's a the Lair in sight. But, it, I mean, Mutas are going to be so far away. And then he can just 
then Boba the Bear can just transition to Blink Stalker very easily off his two base economy and be totally safe. He's even taking out his Photon Cannon. He's 13 supply up, and this push just never happened. Stupid is just sitting back and droning up. Um, interestingly, both are pretty even on supply, but the workers, I mean, once these, uh, gateways there completed, he'll be able to warp in a massive ground army and just kind of attack. Uh, this, this is not looking good for Stupid because it looks like the attack is indeed coming here. Here, uh, Stupid catching a lot of these units on move command. He's gonna pick off a Zealot and Sentry for completely free, but the Void Rays are starting to poke away at the Overlords, and you can see three of them out totally completed even a phoenix joining in on the fun and robo facility going down now you can see these void rays are going to be able to do so much damage here is the forward pylon and these void rays what what's uh stupid going to do he has a queen but he doesn't really have the spore crawl spore crawlers that he wants and oh my gosh what a hero liftoff void rays charging up on the poor queen and now they're going to be take out taking out this hatchery almost immediately there's no spore crawlers Stupid is trying to get Hydras out, but even if he does, it won't be too effective. Here is a nice flank, Stupid taking out the forward pylon, and it should be pretty safe. If he takes out this pylon as well, he will be doing good. But here come the Void Rays. They're fully charged. You gotta attack. Oh, he loses the charge, and the uh, pylon does get taken out. But now these Void Rays are practically unopposed in the air. Six Hydras coming out. Stupid could still hold this. But back at home, Immortals are coming out, a large gateway army is coming out, and these uh, air units are just going to be so good. There's not even a creep highway, there's not even a creep tumor, and this is this is just not looking good, man. <laughs> All of these extractors here are uh, not going to be very effective. Another forward pylon trying to come out. It should be okay, it looks like uh, some stalkers got mis-rallied over here, that's kind of weird. But, but this is going to just be kind of horrible for stupid and he's doing a really smart decision look at this nidus network not very common if he can get vision over here he can just put all of his hydras into there and pull them out where he needs them to be but oh no he's losing all these sentries the sentries get surrounded very quickly will any go down one goes down almost immediately the second falls as well that's a lot of energy you don't want to lose feel free to throw down force fields to try to prevent that because it's much better than losing the units oh my gosh this i don't know what bob is doing man he's, he's losing it he's units are just clumping up in the middle they're where they shouldn't be at all but bobo definitely has a unit advantage you can see one sentry three phoenix five stalker three void ray immortal four is sell it against 13 hydras and six zerglings and two roaches uh, this Protoss army is actually getting pretty darn scary the hydras will be able to do a lot of damage here comes the the Nidus Worm, it's getting up in the main, but will it be taken out? It's totally not scouted. Here comes the sound. Yeah. And here comes the units. Here are the Hydras all in the main. Oh, I'd be scared if I was Boba the Bear. You gotta move back into your main and hold this off. He's already losing the Stargate. It's being completed so quickly. And the Hydras are actually gonna be able to do a ton of damage. But will it be enough? It looks like Stupid is trying to re-rally his units, taking out the Phoenix oh so fast. But he's losing the Nidus Worm. He lost the Nidus Worm. He cannot retreat. The Hydras will be able to pick off the, uh, the Voiders very easily. But, I mean, look at this army. It's just too much. Stupid is being purely outnumbered. And now he's lost all of his Hydras. He's trying to throw down another Nidus Worm right here in the front. He's trying to push up through the main. But there's Photon Cannons here. That will be extremely effective. Here come the air units to try to push some more offense. Oh, no. If he loses the Nidus Network... It could be, could be horrible. And Stupid actually is just going to GG. He thinks he's too far behind to catch up, which means Boba the Bear wins 3-0 in the grand finals of the first bi-weekly UC Davis tournament. GG's out when this Phoenix, uh, the Stargate opening just <laughs> smashes through his Hydraling army. And uh, Boba the Bear very well played, taking out some really great players like Spies, all that good stuff. So I'm out. Remember to sign up for the second one, which starts Friday. May 11th, because I believe today's Thursday. May 10th, yep. Friday, May 11th. So, I'm Alfred, and this is UC Davis Stargraft. I'm out.